I lightly peed it. Welcome to another episode of Eric Wade Whiskey Studies, and in this video, I'm going to do a review of the Ardmore Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. This is the Legacy, a lightly peated Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. But before I get into this, here are my notes. The Ardmore Legacy is made from 80% peated malt, 20% unpeated malt. The whiskey is chill filtered, it is bottled at 40% alcohol by volume and sells for anywhere between $32 and $44 in my neighborhood. Now, I know if you're a peat head, a peat monster, or however you want to describe yourself, and you really like the big peated whiskeys, that you're probably gonna turn your nose up at this one. But if you're not into peated whiskeys and you haven't really, uh, you know, uh, gotten into it, this may be a place for you to start. Now, there are different whiskeys for different occasions, and I think this whiskey has a place in your whiskey lineup or in your whiskey library, as I like to call it. So several different, different reasons or places and times, occasions um, that I would, uh, I think this whiskey really, really fits. The first is as an introduction to Peter Whiskey. So if you know someone, you know, they haven't really tried it and you don't want to just sort of smack them upside the head with some big peated whiskey from Isla, this one will definitely do the job. It's just a whiff of peat on the nose. It has some nice fruit notes. I would say more on the, on the peach side, maybe dried peaches, dried apples, a little bit of vanilla, baking spices, and the peat is just, it's just barely there, but it's kind of wafting through all those aromas. A little bit of a, sort of a dried leaf, uh, autumn leaves kind of a smell. You, it's been maybe just got a little bit of rain and you haven't cleaned up all the leaves out of the yard or you're out in the forest and there's, you know, wet leaves on the ground. I get a little bit of that sort of wet leaf character there as well. With a hint, a little hint of sort of a, a slight nuttiness, dare I say it, marzipan. Some uh, dried stone fruits, dried apricots, dried peaches on the pot. Mmm. Mm. So, I think the first occasion for this whiskey is for a newbie, someone who hasn't really, really gotten into peated whiskeys. The second is sort of a warm up in a whiskey tasting. Let's say you're going to do some big, heavy peated whiskeys. Maybe you don't want to jump into, you know, a uh, cash strength, you know, uh, 100 ppm, you know, peated whiskey. So, just to sort of warm up your palate sort of uh, get going, you just have a wee nip of something that's just lightly peated. The third occasion that I think this whiskey works really well for is when you're in the mood for peat, but you're not in the mood for that much peat. Be honest with you, I'm very mood driven when it comes to the whiskeys that I want. Whether it's a bourbon or uh, a scotch or an Irish or even perhaps sometimes a real light, fine uh, Japanese whiskey or a rye, something with a lot of spice to it, I'm really, really mood driven. And I found, as you can see, as I'm fairly well uh, down into this bottle, uh, I find that sometimes when I don't want the whiskey to be the center of my attention, some whiskeys are so awesome, so amazing. They are the center of the conversation. You're getting together with friends and you're just talking about the layers of complexity of a whiskey and how awesome it is, right? And, or you're gonna brag about, it. hey, I got this whiskey and you're gonna brag about it to your friends. You know, wow, this rare find, I found this, I, tracked, I was able to track this down. It's maybe something really expensive for a, special, for a special occasion. This is not one of those whiskeys. I find I like this whiskey when you're just gonna sort of kick back, watch a movie, read a book, in which your focus and your attention isn't on the whiskey. It's more of an accoutrement to something else that you're paying attention to. And I think they're really, you know, basic, good whiskeys that are suited for that occasion. And after dinner, chilling out watching the movie before I go to bed, this is a whiskey that suits that occasion. Particularly, you know, on, on the colder days, I like a little bit of peat, but not necessarily always that much peat. On the palate. It's not the most complex, but it does have something different going on there on the front and the middle and the finish. You get more of the dried, 
stone fruit, dried peaches, and dried apples, a little bit of that vanilla, some of that caramel. Just a very light tobacco character. And then on the back end, what comes around is just a whiff of smoke. And what sticks around, as I'm talking now, is just that whiff of smoke. Texturally, it's a little thin. It kind of just sort of glides across the palate. Not necessarily like really mouth coating. But again, my focus when I'm enjoying this whiskey, and I do really, really enjoy this whiskey, is when my focus is something on something else. And I just sort of something. It's kind of like music that you're not really listening to. It's just in the background. You know, you have background music. Maybe you're working. Maybe you're, you're typing uh, on your computer or uh, you're having a conversation. You have a bunch of people together and you've got music playing in the background. You're not focused on the music. That's kind of the place for this whiskey. It's somewhat in the background as an accoutrement to everything else that's going on. So I think it definitely has a place. I think I'll probably always keep a bottle, particularly the price is fairly reasonable. And we're $32 to $44 maybe higher, maybe lower where you live. So what would I give it in terms of a score? I'm, I'm gonna go solid 85 points, solid 85 points. Um, are there other lightly peated whiskeys with just a puff of smoke that I might also add uh, as a recommendation to this? Perhaps, perhaps, and would be definitely from the, the Highlands probably. Um, if you have something you would prefer that's lightly peated, that's gotta be the, the, the definition, lightly peated with just a puff of smoke. If you have one that you prefer, you think you like more than the Ardmore, then let me know what it is and put it in the comment section down below. Alrighty, if you like watching my videos, you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I go live or post a new video. And if you are a member of my Patreon group, I wanna thank you very much. All right, until next time, cheers.